guys um, in particular, or anybody that has cheated on a significant other, um, you're not about to like what I'm about to say. Um, and frankly, I don't give a fuck. Um, it's 2018, and it's time for us as a people to renew our mindsets. Our mindsets have to be renewed. We have to get to a place where we cannot allow fuck shit. We can't allow fuck boys. We can't allow fuck girls. We can't allow it in 20 And I can never diss you, diss you, but I will dismiss you straight to your face. Nah, I ain't got no manners. Nope. And these bros ain't got no standards. That's why he can't stand you. Always got your hand out for a hand out. Can't stand What up, EDS squad? Um... I'm in my feelings today, so before I even get and dive into what I got to talk about, I just want to let everybody that's watching this video know that yes, it's Sunday, and yes, I am about to go ham. I might curse. No, it's not even a might. I'm going to curse. Um, I prayed to the Lord before I even woke up this morning, so he already knows that I'm about to, I'm just about to be in another world. Um, so with that being said, if you are going to be uncomfortable with this topic, um, I would suggest you click off of this video and, um, I have other videos, you know, I have my coming out story, I got some fun videos because this is not fun because I'm in my feelings. So, I'm going to give you a couple seconds to get your mind right, get your attitude right, and see where you fall in this video. Okay. If you're still here, I love you guys. You're my supporters, and you probably going to agree with 100% of what I'm about to say. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Last night, I was just cruising through YouTube, and I come across a song from Chris Sales, from Chris and Queen. <clears throat> he came out with another track. When I instantly read the title, I didn't have to look at the artwork. When I instantly read the title, Broke Her Heart, I was done for two reasons. One... What else do you need to say about this situation that you created, that you created? And two, your song wasn't even good last time, my dude. So, what makes you think this next song is about to be a banger? Like, you are not an artist. You cannot rap. You cannot sing. So, with that being said, why are you still making tracks? So then I was like, you know what, I'm not even going to click on it. I'm not going to give Chris and Queen no views because I said I would not give Chris and Queen any views at this point. Their cha that channel because Queen is definitely not with Chris. She has definitely moved on and she is doing her thing. So I clicked, I saw that a reaction channel had put up a reaction to it. So, Alright, I'd rather give the reaction channel their view than giving Chris and Queen a that that channel their views because Chris don't deserve no fucking views. So, you know, I'm listening to the song or whatever. I and I was just utterly, utterly shocked and appalled at what I was hearing. Like the beat is catchy and see before I even get into the song, this is where society fucks up. They think because of a beat is catchy that a song is fire off of a beat. Y'all need to start paying attention to these lyrics. Because these lyrics be having some crazy ass shit in them. And y'all be sitting here bobbing y'all heads not even knowing that y'all listening to devil worshiping music. I'm not saying that this song is in particularly devil worshiping music. But I'm saying in general. Y'all will be sitting here bopping y'all heads to all these songs. Not even listening to the content of what these artists are saying. And at this point, it's pissing me off. And at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. So, 
I'm listening to the song. I'm going to show, I'm going to snare a little tiny snippet because honestly, I really don't even want his song on this video. But if y'all haven't seen, I haven't heard about this situation, then y'all probably looking at me like, Elijah, what the fuck are you talking about? So I'm going to give y'all some context in a second. But as I was listening to this song, I was just shocked and appalled and... It didn't surprise me because this nigga did the, the last song where he tried to drag Queen. Well, he didn't try. He dragged her. And, um, what pissed me off the most, not even the song, it was the reactors that were reacting to this song. They're gonna say, oh, we're not taking sides with the situation, but... The beat was fire, so I think the song was pretty good. His flow, this, that, and the other. And I'm just like, we must have not listened to the same song. Like, we couldn't have listened to the same song because fuck the beat, the, his flow, fuck his cadence, the lyrics, and the way he was disrespecting somebody that he called his wife. Okay, so let's get into the... Song. Let's get let's do, let's share a little snippet. Okay, that's enough. So he opens up the song with him up, um, saying that he hurt her and she, he hopes he, she changes her mind about getting back with him. So when I'm listening to the song at first, I'm like, okay, you about to apologize. It's about to be an apology song. Okay, I, you know, I'm all for apologizing when you make mistakes and you do your wrong, okay? But when he dropped that verse and the first thing he said was he cheated and she'd allowed him. I'm like, what? See, these, see, fuck Chris for a second. These niggas in general, y'all have... Y'all mindsets be on some crazy ass shit for the simple fact that y'all can sit up here and put y'all private parts in another person that is not your significant other. And then say your excuse is is because of the other per of the other person in the relationship. Like what? It it's it's like mind boggling and it's like sad and it's like getting to the point where I'm over the bullshit. There is no fucking way in God's green earth that you can come to me and say the reason why you cheated on me was because I wasn't doing this, that, and the other. Nigga, you put your whole penis in another woman's vagina. Like, you did that. I didn't do that. I didn't tell you to go do that. You did that. Like, and then he he goes on and says that she didn't play defense. My nigga, you're married. 
in a marriage, fuck, fuck, in a relationship, you would think that your significant other, you wouldn't have to play defense with them. You wouldn't have to be sitting here worrying about when they leave the house, are they going to cheat on you? Because... You would think, since y'all are in a mutual relationship, that they would have the respect, the trust, and the honesty to be faithful. So, what you mean she didn't put up no defense? Like, what? So, okay. The song gets worse as it goes on. Y'all thought that little snippet was, but it gets worse. He goes on to basically drag this girl and see niggas, when niggas cheat on their females or any, what, no, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep the same energy. When niggas cheat on their girlfriends and, or wives, whatever, and the girl goes out and finds another guy to, you know, entertain and be with this, that, and the other. Niggas want to drag the up uh, the nigga. My nigga, if you was playing your position, if you was doing your part, if you were doing what you were supposed to do as their significant other, she wouldn't be with no other nigga. So why are you mad at the next nigga? Like, like I'm saying, like, as I'm talking, it's just, like, it's sad that these are the mindsets of the 21st century nigga. It's sad. And then, not only does he talk about the other nigga and how he don't got money. And see, that's another thing. Niggas, when they don't got nothing to say because they know they fucked up, the first thing they want to say is the, the next nigga is a broke. Especially when they get a little bit of money. They don't have nothing else to say. They neither ugly or they broke. But that's neither here nor there. So he goes on and... Says to his wife, mind you, they are married, but they are separated right now. So he goes on to say, oh, this nigga don't got no money, this, that, and the other. Why you fucking with him? You don't even look comfortable. Um, but how about you, I send you my address? You can come. We can fuck for one day. I don't got to call you boo. I don't got to call you bae. Like, what? I was, I was utterly disgusted i was i was not shocked i was disgusted that a nigga that a guy who claim who has a wife would treat their wife this disrespectfully and not only that you are disrespecting her on a public and global platform so not only like you know it's disrespectful and it's fucked up for somebody to disrespect their girl like, privately in, like, or in a little group setting. But globally, internationally, you is dragging her and you is disrespecting her. And then at the end of the fucking song, he wants to say, I, I apologize. Like, how, like, what? I came to the conclusion that that nigga, Chris, something's mentally wrong with him. Like, something up here is not right. And... I even, you know, I was even trying to make a little excuse where maybe he don't know how to develop a song correctly or maybe he and his... No. This is the second time he has disrespected this girl in front of the world. And my thing is, this girl has never disrespected her, never called him out her name. And y'all got a fucking child. Do like, do people understand that the actions, especially people in the celebrity spotlight, do they realize that the shit that they do, that their kids are going to grow up and see this because the internet and the stuff that's on the internet does not go away? Do people, like, do y'all get that? Do you understand that? Does that sink into people's heads? And I just want to end this because I don't want to go all day because at the end of the day, these niggas are not paying my bills. But I just want to say to these niggas that it is 2018. It is time for y'all to 
Be accountable of your fucking actions. I am tired of the excuses as to why niggas cheat. There is no fucking excuse in this fucking world that you guys have cheated. I don't give a fuck if this bitch ain't giving you no sex. I don't care if she disrespectful. If you don't want to be in a fucking relationship, get the fuck out. If you want to fuck any and every bitch, any and every nigga, any, anybody... Get the fuck out of relationship. I cannot tolerate cheaters. I can, I don't can't stand cheaters. I don't give a fuck. I have been in a situation where a nigga has played the fuck out of me and cheated on me, and I don't I don't do it. I don't fuck with it. I do not fuck with it. So I'm gonna end this rant because it's Sunday and I'm supposed to be in a better spirit and a better mind. But I really need to get this off my chest and I really needed to let you guys know I'm in here sweating because I'm so passionate about these fuckboys. 2018, y'all niggas, y'all really need to change our mindsets, y'all really need to, y'all, he needs Jesus, like, honestly, this nigga Chris, he needs God, he needs Jesus, he needs, he needs, he needs him, he needs him bad, like, I need him, I know I need him every minute, every day, every hour, but this nigga need him, he needs him, and I'm sorry, if y'all don't like this video, I don't give a fuck, if y'all give me that thumbs down, I, honestly, this situation, this topic, I honestly don't give a fuck. Because, like I just said, I do not tolerate cheating because I feel like if you have an urge to cheat, you should not be in a relationship. There should be no reason why you are in a relationship causing any harm to your significant other that you claim to fucking love. I don't give a fuck. There's no reason. There's no nothing. There, there's no nothing. Nothing. This song was utter trash. It was disrespectful as fuck. And he is disgusting to me. I don't want nothing to do with Chris. I don't even... After this video, I will never, ever discuss this nigga in my fucking existence. He's disgusting to me. I don't give a fuck. He's gross. Niggas like him are gross. And girls, females, males, or anybody in a relationship and have niggas like this, y'all need to get the fuck out. Like, dead ass. Get the fuck out and keep it moving and keep doing your thing. Queen is out here living her best life right now. She is doing what she needs to do. She's focusing on her music. She's collabing with somebody. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if she's fuck Like, if they fucking... Whoop dee damn do. She is separated. She ain't with the nigga no more. They're not together. But this nigga is still pressed. This nigga is still mad. And he's still mad, wild, disrespectful. So, in that case, Queen, fuck him. This honestly should be the confirmation that you should not even this deal with this nigga anymore in this lifetime. So, that's my rant. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and share. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Lord, please subscribe. I'm better and I'm nicer and I'm calmer than what I am right now. I'm just in my feelings. This shit really... Like, I really was going to last night, because I saw this like at 11, 12 o'clock last night. I really was about to get up out of my fucking bed, get ready, and do a video. But I was like, you know what? Let me just sleep, sleep it down. And in the morning, if I'm still feeling some type of way, I get up and say something to you guys. Because last night, I probably would have been a little bit more wild. I probably would have been a lot more riled up. But, like I said, subscribe if you haven't. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all the updates to this channel. I update every single day. I love you all. And 2018, we got to do better. As people, as guys, as girls, we have to do better. All races. It don't matter who you are. No sex sexuality or not any sexuality we have to do better and we can't accept fuck shit like this we can't we just can't i know i'm not and i hope you guys don't either love you